Welcome to Star Citizen. They are constantly changing the game, adding new things, changing old things, and those of you who might remember the Korea might be in for a treat. It's a security outpost orbiting one of the moons of Crusader. At the moment it's just a place where you can pretty much remove your crime stat, but they have bigger plans for it. It's supposed to be a bigger place, a place with more meaning, kind of outpost for the Crusader security to pick up all the illegal goodies, everything they've found, store them there, and in the future you might just be able to raid it and try to get some of those goodies that have been stored there. Or you can even, well, assist the security in defending it from other players. There's basically gonna be a PvP event triggered by players trying to raid it for the goodies. Many players can get a call from the Crusader security or something that they need assistance in dealing with the hostiles assault assaulting the security outpost. You can answer the call and kill some of these bounties or do some bounty hunting or you can be the criminal. But remember, you might also get unlucky. You might not get the goodies you want or you might get something that is uh, utter trash. The way it's all supposed to work is quite simple. They beef up the security, beefed up the turrets, so there's a lot more, let's say, aggression if you try to advance yourself into this outpost. After what, you kill the guards, you kill the security leader or the commander, which will spawn after a while, and from that you'll get the code to get yourself some of those uh, illegal goodies. You might get lucky, you might get unlucky. Now, if you are there to take care of these criminals, you might also want to note that picking up these packages might mark you as a criminal yourself. So that is the question if you want to risk it for a bit of extra rewards. There's also supposed to be NPCs on the landing pads, so it all might be quite beautiful and interesting. You can still remove your crime stat there, but I'm not really sure how the criminal stat will work. Theoretically, you should be able to load up your ship and get rid of the crime stat, but we'll see how it pans out. There will also be changes to the Kleshers prison. And there's going to be quite a few new things. First of all, more NPCs in the cave. You might find a prisoner NPC, take the risk, take it out, grab whatever he has, might reduce your sentence. There are gonna be stashes hidden around in the caves. And of course, it would be no prison without a proper shiv. And there's also planned to be missions to get some contraband into the prisons. And equally so, there are also going to be missions to take down some of these more hostile prisoners for extra rewards. There was also mentioned that there is a lot of information in this prison, so they might do something with that. Now, another great thing is the blind spot they're planning to add, where some outside entities can contact you to do things inside the prison. What I like about the prison and the security outpost is quite simple. These are quite old. They're adding new things to it. It's good to see they're giving us more options, but I sadly fear that the prison will remain still quite empty and I don't want to say useless, but it could definitely be a lot more interesting if we could increase the player cap to around 500 or so. You would actually see some other prisoners, players, probably are gonna run into pirates. It could be amazing experience or a massive headache. I see all of it as a setup for the future. It doesn't mean that things here won't work or there aren't enough players for it to work, but it requires quite a bit of players to be in a certain area for it to, to have a useful effect, especially if you consider PvP scenarios. So the promises are big and, well, the future kind of looks brighter with each patch, but we'll see how it all pans out. Anyway, thanks for watching.